wants me to touch up upon it. He just wants to fix it up himself. That's what he said. He wants to do it himself. Like, I care what he... Whatever. I mean, I still have it here in case he screws it up somehow. Whatever. Do you trust him? What? Do you trust him? Ruin. Ruin? Well, I don't know. I haven't really talked to him much. He hanged, he hanged out in the ball pit for a lot, but... Again, other than that, that was a whole interaction, really. Mm, I don't know. It f just seems weird. The way he talked, it didn't seem nice. You did catch him off guard, I guess. I mean, well, he is also not around here practically anymore. Yeah. Whatever. Anyways, let's, um... You can keep thinking on it. There's just a couple things to do, and I need your hand or help with it. Yeah, what's up? I don't trust Son to deal with this. Whatever you need. All right. Uh, so, there's a blockage in the portal. That's new? Yeah, just something is in the way. Uh, uh, I just need you to go in there and get it out. I can guide you to it, though. Sure. Uh, am I going to get sucked in? Uh, more like something's getting pushed out. Weird. Okay. You might have just you might have just picked something up and it got stuck. I'll be on phone. All right. Okay. Uh, you there? Yep, I'm here. All right. Where's this block? It's gonna be the bottom most of the portal. Uh, it should be the third column from the twenty-six. Uh, in fucking but simple can't terms. Find it there's too many balls in there. Yes. That is more than fair. You know the general area of where it is. Just start mixing stuff around it. We'll probably shoot it out and it should be fine. Okay, I'll just kick it around with my feet, I guess. Oh, the found something. Wait, no, stop. Get out of there now. Um, something grabbed my foot. Get out. Get something grabbed my foot. God damn it. Solar! I'm crudding! <laughs> oh. Hey. Ugh. You wanna get out of the ball pit? Uh, sure. Did you come down right. after you heard me scream? Yeah. I uh, probably couldn't hear it from the whole uh, time vortex thing it takes you through every now and then. Right. Um. We're solar. So you're normal. Hmm. You're normal. Yeah. We're solar. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, solar. Well, beats me where I know where, know where he is. What's going on? What? Oh, nothing much right now. I'm just kind of looking around, you know? I'm trying to, dis trying to discern if you're in danger or not at this moment. Son, I'm your brother. Oh, well, that's one way to call it. Come on, I gotta show you some things. Okay. I get sucked into the portal. What's up? Well, could you, uh, do me a favor? Just stand next to that barrel, please. Okay. All right. Give it, for like, five seconds. No worry, nothing bad's gonna happen to you. Just, uh, currently taking any and all information or knowledge you may have and put it into my own computers. Okay, so I'm not home. Got it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna guess your day probably looks a lot like this one. And again, every day here looks a lot like this one. Except for the ones that the place got destroyed. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Um, you seem confused. Yeah, where am I? Well, a lot of people call this a weird dimension. Others, not so much. I don't know if it really matters too much at the end of the day. Where's, uh, everybody? Oh, well... Well, you see, Chica, Freddy, Monty, all of them, they're fine. I had to reprogram Monty myself, unfortunately, but... Yeah, that's alright. Why'd you have to I, reprogram I did that Monty? because it's more of a headache to deal with Fazbear Entertainment than just reprogramming Monty myself, so... Eh, I like it matters, I guess. What'd you do? What do you mean, what did I do? I made, I fixed everything. Everything's all okay now. What was wrong? Um, shoot. Uh, depends. I mean, we all share a similar history across every dimension, you know. Uh, coming to life, realizing we're two people, the struggle of control, hating each other, etc., etc. What about you? Your son. Oh, no, I see. You two are brothers. Oh, that's a new one. And again, that one's a little... That one's not too common. I do see it every now and then, though. <laughs> Neat. The two of us separated. Eclipse happened. Then Lunar. Yeah, I see that. A lot of eclipses out there. But none of them are too smart. Always egotistical with one another. 
You know, they tried forming a council. Didn't work out too much. They all died real quickly. You mean like the creator's whole thing? Oh, yeah, sure. That too, I guess. Uh, I killed mine, though. Hmm. So I guess that's not a worry here. Well, there's the realization on what you did. Thanks for that information. Really? What's that? Think about it real clo real carefully. My son doesn't kill people. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? I can tell easily, though. He seems like he's nowhere near that level yet. Yet being the word. The only person he killed was Blood Moon, and he regrets it. Blood Moon? Oh! I see. Okay. That's a bit of a weird one. Then again, I guess that's what happens when you don't kill or destroy anything that does threaten to kill you and destroy your whole way of living. Where am I? My home? Yeah. Where's your moon? <laughs> oh, him! Yeah. Well, you see, I tried doing the same thing that a lot of sons did. Talking to them, explaining things that we can work together, separating our bodies, etc. But he didn't want to hear it, so I stopped being... Well, I thought about it a bit more, buddy. I thought... Why bother with him? Oh, don't worry, he's still in here. He's just a lot more compliant. <sighs> You're the one that pulled me in here. Oh yeah, I did. I, I've been hearing a lot about you around the place, so I wanted to get any all information you have. And now that I do, I could kill you, or I could just let you escape. Then again, knowing you, you won't come back here, from what I'm seeing anyways. Correct. Why would I? So you can kill me? Well, <laughs> Now, if I wanted to kill every moon, I could, but that's too much of a time waster and I'd get too many eyes on me. No, what I wanted was your knowledge about the stuff. And now I see, uh, star things. Hmm. I might work on that myself later. Who knows, maybe I'll alter one so it's actually, us so actually usable across dimensions. We'll find out, I guess. Good luck with that. Well, unlike your sun or your other moons, I'm a bit smart myself. If that's not obvious. I can tell, but... You can't rewrite the fabric of realities. No one I don't need to can. rewrite fabric of realities. I need to rewrite the thing that uses it. An automatically updating star. Huh, that'd be a cool one. What do you want? You seem surprised. Do you not think of that one? Of course I thought of that one. That's borderline impossible from what I understand. Borderline impossible does not mean impossible, though. Whatever. I don't care. I'm going home. What about your stitch wraith problem, too? Hmm? Is that one still around? He is not directly my problem. Ah. Well, suppose you guys can deal with that yourself then. Or I could tell you how to kill him and... Nah. <laughs> That'd be being nice to a moon for once in a... Well, I'm not exactly a fan of you lot. Okay, listen here, you egotistical idiot. No, I'm not you're not an idiot. I'm not to you or any, any words you have to say. Why? You're the smartest man in many dimensions and universes, yet you fail to understand the basic principles of what makes you that way. It wasn't you that gained your own smarts. It was a man that blessed you with it. I know. I was built like this. Is this one finally does know. Or get it. He's not the most important man in the universe. <laughs> Correct. You kind of realize that when you're a machine that can have his memories reset. Oh, you're a dead one. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, I don't care what you want. I don't care what you want to do. Just stay out of my dimension. I don't care to do any of it. I just want some information. Now I have it. Thank you for that. Go on. Jump through the portal. Nothing bad will happen to you. Or do you want to risk that? Stay out of my dimension. I don't plan to go to your dimension unless you have something I want. And currently, there's nothing there I want. Oh, well, you don't want a happy life? Happy life? I'm living in... <laughs> luxury here. No star stuff to deal with, no creators or anything to worry about, not even an eclipse or ruin or whatever the hell you're dealing with. And you, of all people, are tuned out of my head. Most I, most trouble I deal with now is a dirty diaper every now and then. You're not happy, you're insane. Well, suppose I go one in hand in hand with each other. <sighs> Goodbye, evil son. Moon! Get out. Get out. Get out. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. You're right? Mm-hmm. Sure. Moon? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Oh, you know, just getting pulled into dimension to get my uh information uh copied by a evil Wait. son. I don't think son can be evil. No, he can. Not in the sense of 
kill all, become ruler of the world in the sense of emotionless uh, psychopath. You ever watched Rick and Morty? Should we be worried about him? Essentially. He said he wouldn't show up here unless we have something that he wants, and right now we have nothing that he wants. So for right now, nothing to worry about. Computer, could you block off that dimension? Blocking off. Blocking failed. Right, nothing to worry about. What? Blocking failed. What do you mean it failed? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. You can't block a signal that keeps changing itself. Mm-hmm. He's the one that grabbed He's me. The signal. Why? Why does he want you? He wanted my information. Why your information? There's other moons out there. He copied my data about the star. He said he was going to potentially attempt to make a star that reprograms itself to be usable in other dimensions. That's impossible. It's borderline impossible. I don't think any sun, moon, or eclipse has tried. Probably because these astro bodies that exist that we know of now stop it. Well, thankfully he doesn't know. Yes, he does. No, he copied your information. He would know about it. Mm-hmm. He knows about the astrals. Damn. He knows what they care about. And he said he didn't care about this dimension. He locked his moon away in his head. He reprogrammed his Monty, and also the rest of his animatronics are just being complacent. He killed his creator. Nothing bad's happening over there, is it? He is living a life of luxury. Everything's fine. He's happy. He's a sociopath. He's as long as he doesn't come here, I don't care. We should be fine. I agree. Until we have something that he wants. I'm mean, gonna guess that's not what you're focused on, though. The fact that Sun could be that. Mm. Not really. So what is it then? He said I was one of the dead ones. What's that mean? I mentioned I had my memories wiped. And then he said I was one of the dead ones. So there's other moons like me that had their memories wiped. Doesn't surprise me. But saying I'm one of the dead ones makes you question whether or not resetting does mean dying. I know I'm not the old moon. I don't want to be the old moon. Because... If I was the old moon, quite frankly, I'd be a humongous piece of Yeah. <sighs> okay. Why don't you take five minutes? Portal's fine now. Solar, I'm fine. I insist. Give me stuff to do. Besides, it's not like we're doing much. Give me stuff to do. Well, there's a theater. Kids were just there. Gotta be a bit messy. Sure. Actually, it is a bit... You are. One of them brought slime and rubbed it into the carpet. All right. We're both going now.